C2 English Mistakes to Avoid In today's class I'm going to go over 10 common C2 proficiency level English mistakes and provide you with explanations and corrections. Learning English involves the gradual process of eliminating mistakes. So make a note of these mistakes to ensure you don't make them in the future. Mistake number one. This first mistake occurs because of the assumption that the word to is part of an infinitive form of a verb, but actually it acts as a preposition. This is because it belongs to the structure when it comes to, which means in relation to or on the subject of. This must be followed by a noun or a gerund form of the verb, as we use gerunds after prepositions. When it comes to studying for an exam, it's best to do so gradually. Mistake number two. If we were to give this sentence a positive meaning, it would work. However, when we add a second negative part to a sentence with emphasis, we have to use either at the end of it, instead of as well or to. United were poor last season and they haven't been too good this year either. Mistake number three. When we talk about the number of people that are in a group, we use there are plus the number plus of us if the person speaking is in the group or there are plus the number plus of them if the person speaking is not in the group. If you use people, students, workers, etc., you don't use of us or of them. There are six of us, so we'll have to get a bigger taxi. Mistake number four. Although less is commonly used before plural nouns in the UK, it is not grammatically correct. Less is the comparative form of little, and we use it before uncountable nouns. Before plural nouns, we use fewer, which is the comparative form of few. There are fewer working people as a consequence of the aging population. Mistake number five. Be used to something refers to the current state or situation of something, whereas get or become used to something refers to the process of adapting to something. When you move abroad, it can take a while to get used to the local customs. Mistake number six. We use the preposition of after nouns like increase, decrease and growth when we want to specify the exact number. However, with these kinds of nouns, we use the preposition in to describe a change that is measurable without referring to the specific number or percentage. There has been a significant increase in violent crime in the city. Mistake number seven. The adjective historical refers to something that is connected to the study of history or that happened in the past. Look at this example. However, we use historic to describe something that was making history and will go into the history books for good or bad. The 31st of January 2020 was a historic day as the UK left the European Union. Mistake number eight. Of course you can say this document is in English, which means that is its current language. But we use the preposition into to express that a change is taking place through the action. Have a look at these examples. So in this case, we are changing a document from one language into another one by means of doing a translation. The Spanish document needs to be translated into English. Mistake number nine. 
A relationship describes the way people behave and feel towards each other, and we use this for people like friends, family members and workmates. However, we don't use relationship to describe how two countries communicate and behave towards each other. We use relations in this case, and it's always in the plural form. The UK has close relations with Australia. Mistake number 10. If you are disinterested, it means you are impartial and not influenced by personal interests. Have a look at this example. However, if someone is bored and shows a lack of attention or interest in something, they are uninterested. The teacher said Tim is often uninterested during the class. For more C2 level English resources, check out my playlist. If you want to learn British English with me, hit the subscribe button to join the community and take your English to the next level.